It is indeed a dead bear right behind me, but that's not what I wanted to show you guys. Um, here's the real beauty. This is my base that took me about 10 weeks to build, putting roughly 5-6 hours every day searching for resources and keeping myself away from trouble, in a sense. I do want to clarify, I took a break from this game and I haven't played ever since Unturned came out on console. Let's give you a little spin around my base slash castle, I suppose. There is an issue, as you can already tell, my guy is taking damage, and the reason being is because it, it is technically high altitude. The higher you get, the higher altitude is. Before I show you the fun stuff, let me show you the core of this house, what keeps this place running. This is my work area where I cook, craft clothing, craft spells, potions, metal equipment, uh, pretty much everything my guy is currently equipped with. There's my little storage right here. Um, this is my closet. Some of this stuff I can't even wear because my guy doesn't meet the level requirements. But that is okay, I can still kick some ass, not a big deal. Um, I'm patient, as always, for the most part, anyways. Right this way is my guest room, so when the server finally goes public, this is where my guests will be located over the night, and obviously it's not gonna be free, so I'm gonna charge him, but it's not quite finished just yet, but it's coming. As we come to the second floor, this is my official kitchen, nothing too special, pretty much just the basics if you ask me honestly. As we fly on top of the roof, this is where I grow my vegetables. Um, it's not huge, I just need it honestly, just three beds, just to have something coming from the ground, something organic, and that way, you know, if I ever just don't feel like going out and collecting supplies, I can still just go up, you know, on my roof and collect the vegetables. And this is how you get to my bedroom. It's kind of hidden, it takes a minute or two until I actually get up there, so just bear with me on this one. <laughs> If you were a stranger and you got up here, you would assume that this is the room, you know, there's nothing else, but nope. So you might be wondering what I want to do with this room. Well, I specifically made this room ginormous so I can eventually tame a dragon, in which case you can, and you're 100% capable of. And that's where I would keep my dragon, honestly. Um, it's big, spacious, and I think it's just the perfect room for, you know, a little creature. Let me show you my secret rooms and my actual bedroom. So that's my actual bedroom right over here. See, I told you it was going to take a minute to get up here. And here's my secret storage unit, I guess. Uh, currently, there is nothing here, and it's coming, trust me. And now I will show you my Witcher section where I can craft even more advanced spells in peace without anyone ever bothering me. Because downstairs actually gets wild and fairly quickly. So this is it. There is plenty of space here um, and better yet it's quiet and I know for a fact people will not bother me here. Um, I forgot to collect some of this stuff, whoops.
You might be wondering why is my guy still taking damage? Well, this is something I didn't pay attention to when I was building this and clearly I will never be an engineer, but apparently if you build higher up and you have windows open, your guy will still take the altitude damage or it could be lack of oxygen or just a mixture of both. It doesn't hurt drastically, but it still takes damage. Well, this is going to be it for this video, you guys. Um, if you enjoyed it, hit that fat like button. As always, if there's any questions you have concerns, just hit me up and I will deliver it to you. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I highly suggest that you do because it helps this channel a lot. Um, but with that being said, I love you guys and I will catch you later. Peace.